Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we are completing our review of the new Biahe Zombie Collector's Edition 2020s. Today we're looking at the green. Same size, five and a half by 54. Dark natural, and I think you'll agree that's a dark natural. All three have the closed foot. Now, real quickly to remind you, here is a picture of all three side by side. All the same size, different color bands, different color wrappers. The binder and filler is completely unknown. Riaje is very secretive. Now, these have been a, uh, the red and the green have been around since 2014. The black is completely new and was previously sold and available for, uh, believe it or not, in China. Now, that is the long and the short of it. The synopsis so far is, I haven't been overly impressed. The black of the two, black and red, was by far the best. And uh, it is uh, very earthy, a lot of black coffee, but has a little sweetness. Go back and look at the review. But for now, let's look at the green. So let's get right to it. The new Biahe Zombie Collector's Edition 2020. So a very dark natural, very dark. I wish I knew more to tell you about it, but I don't. Okay, I've got a little bit of a draw, enough to tell me that it will draw once it's uh, opened up. First flavors are somewhat tangy with sweet citrus and brown sugar, a little cinnamon, but those flavors are quickly followed and almost engulfed or encapsulated in a slightly leathery nutmeg. It's a creamy nutmeg, smooth nutmeg, has a little leather characteristics, and you get it just microseconds after you taste the... Uh, citrus, brown sugar, and light cinnamon. It's almost like they're almost all one thing, but you get one and then real quick get the other. There is a black coffee base that's not very intrusive at this point. There's black pepper, about seven. It's actually not that much right now. I might even say six and a half So um, at this point. So that's how you start. It's a little sweeter than the other two at this point. So uh, things happen, things change. So let's see what we have at the first third. First third. Your nutmeg and leather are really increasing. At this point, they're much more than where they were started. Your, uh, and they, again, come microseconds after you taste the sweeter upfront flavor of the citrus and the uh, brown sugar. Cinnamon is diminished. There's orange peel now in the mix to go, to go along with that uh, leather and nutmeg. The black coffee, you know, I haven't really noticed it much. It's much less black coffee in this cigar than there is the other two. It's there, okay? The pepper may be up to seven right now. The finish is a leathery nutmeg. The finishes on all three of these cigars have, no, have had no sweetness to speak of. Modest amount of lingering black pepper. But it's... It's, a, it's okay. It's, it's not great. And the uptick, heavy uptick of leathery nutmeg and now the orange peel is in there. All those just strip away. Wait, they pull away the sweeter notes. First third is 91. 
So um, we're going to see second, third. I'm hoping we have one of those pyramid shaped cigars. So I'm hoping for the second, third to improve, but we will see. into the second third and we have a very short pyramid improvement there's not massive improvement in the cigar but there is some the citrus and brown sugar are a little bit improved the nutmeg and the leather is still very much elevated, but you're getting a little more of the sweeter notes. So that's the improvement. Going back to the first third, it was pretty much medium body. This one is medium to full. The finish has a lot of leather and nutmeg. No sweetness. Improved lingering black pepper. So that's another improvement. But it's not massively better. It is somewhat better. So I'm raising the score to 92 because it is a 92. It's in, again, when I pick up a cigar, what do I think about it? If, if I just picked it up and this is what I get, it'd be a 92. It's right there with something I could have again. Black coffee is ticking up. I don't know if it's going to get crazy, but it's ticking up. But that is your second third modestly better modestly better so what do we have at the end in the final third Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. <clears throat> we have a pyramid. The sweet notes of citrus are sort of morphing over to cedar. You have a little brown sugar. Quite a bit of nutmeg and leather. Quite a bit. Black coffee elevated to a modest level. Didn't get crazy. The black pepper got to about seven and a half, full bodied, finishes unchanged. You're going to have leather and nutmeg and better lingering black pepper. But the sweet notes sort of went back to like the first third. It, the, the cigar went back to the first third, so I'm going back to 91. Of the three, this is the best, but it's not like it's light years better. There have been some very good Viajes this year, a few. And there have been a few that have been floundering in the middle of the pack and some a little lower. But uh, I do take no pleasure in saying these. this Zombie Collector's Edition is nothing to write home about. If you didn't get them, don't fret. You didn't really miss a lot. The overall score for this cigar is 91.33. So, it's the best of the three. I don't know if that's saying a lot. <clears throat> so, there you have it. The new Viaje Zombie Collector's Edition 2020 Green 91.33. <laughs>